What's going on, Pathways Church? I'm Jake Collins, your middle school pastor, and I'm excited to join you this week for our Daily Dose. A little while back, Pastor Nathan did a series of these called Lessons from Pastor P. You should go back and watch those sometime if you haven't already. You might think of this week as a sequel to that series. I'm going to share with you five lessons that I've learned from ministry leaders in my life during my time prior to landing here at Pathways. My prayer is that these will help you in your personal walk with God, as well as in relationships with your family, church, or community. I moved to Raleigh, North Carolina back in 2013 to attend seminary. That spring, I started serving at a small church plant in North Raleigh, and I joined the team there in the fall of 2014. Right before I started on staff, my first car reached the end of its life. I took a bus from my parents' house in South Carolina back to seminary into my apartment, and I started that fall without a car. Luckily, our pastor, Justin, was willing to give me a lot of rides during the, the time I was there before I got a car. Our church didn't have an office, so we spent a lot of time on the move. In between meetings, we would spend little stretches of time at Dunkin' Donuts, Wendy's, or McDonald's. It was here where Justin taught me our first lesson for this week. See, Justin never st stepped out of ministry mode. He treated the employees at these places with the same kindness, generosity, and understanding that he would treat our church members with. It was like he was always taking that first step towards possibly pointing people to Jesus. This reminded me of Jesus' challenge to the disciples to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and teaching them everything I have commanded you. That go at the beginning of this verse is more accurately translated as you go or wherever you go. Here at Pathways, we are blessed to have an incredible space to do ministry. But if we're not careful, we can convince ourselves that ministry only happens here. The truth is that we can and should be on mission for God wherever we go. This includes our homes, our places of work, our schools, and yes, even the line at Walmart. That's all for today. Join me back here tomorrow for another Daily Dose.